Hey everyone, I am here today to bring you another wig from The Wig Company. This is Tori from their Timeless collection in the color 10. Let me show that to you real quick. So Tori. So they have rebranded their Basics collection and it is now called TWC Timeless or the Wig Company Timeless. And they reached out to me and asked if I would be open to doing a review of a wig from their Timeless collection and they allowed me to choose. And so I looked through their collection and I picked out Tori. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Tori today and I'm also going to tell you why I picked Tori. So their Timeless collection is kind of their basic cap collection. So these are very, very affordable wigs that do not have all the bells and whistles with the cap features. They don't have a lace front. They don't have monofilament. They're just really comfortable, well-made wigs. And so I want to tell you a little bit though about some of the things I've noticed in some of the wig company wigs. First of all, I think they use um, a lot of petite models in their pictures, which I think is actually true for all of the manufacturers. But I want to show you the picture from my phone here of what the model looks like wearing Tori compared to me. So let's take a look at that. There she is. And here I am. <laughs> she just looks so much longer. Look at how much longer she is on the model in the back versus me. So keep that in mind when you look at pictures on websites of models wearing wigs. Don't always expect that's how it's going to look on you. You have no idea what that model's measurements are. And that's why I do include my measurements in the description so that you can try to compare sort of my face length, my circumference, my head measurements because how I measure over my head will if impact how the hair lays and how long it lays on me. And so I just wanted to point that out. So a couple reasons why I picked Tori, and then I'm going to get into Tori for you guys. First of all, she comes in average and large, and I know I have some wig sisters out there who are large cap or, or average large and find wigs to be really tight. So I loved that this would have some flexibility for people. This is an average cap that I have on, and it fits me very snugly. On the tag, it says average 21 inch to 22 inch. I am 22 inch. I do not think there's any room for bigger in this cap. 22 inches about it, uh, maybe 22 and a quarter. So keep that in mind. Um, I also wanted to uh, showcase Tori because I, first of all, the price point. So right now, as of the filming of this video, she is on sale for $49. Her regular price is 64. And I will tell you that the wig company has um, sales all the time so the fact that you know you might be able to get a coupon and so you're gonna be able to pick up Tori for a really good price so I really like to be able to show some of those good price wigs because I know we're especially now a lot of us are, are on super tight budgets so the other reason why I wanted to show Tori is because these short curly styles lend themselves so well to styling and to accessories and so for those of you who are either on a really tight budget and are needing um, to just find good priced wigs the risk you run is getting a wig and having it not quite be your style i would say the lower price point you're looking for the less choices you have so wigs like this that have curls and waves will be great for accessories and so it opens up the world to you I can't really wear uh, wigs this length very well. I just don't have the frame for it. I don't have the face shape for it. You know, I carry a lot of weight in my face, and so I don't really like myself with these kind of wigs, but I love them with headbands, so I will show that. Because I think then it opens it up for me, and if I can find a good price on a short wig, I know I can make it work with styling. So let's take a look at Tori all the way around. Such cute flippy curls. Really, really cute style. Lots of curls and lots of just fun kind of volume. Uh, the permatease is really under control. So sometimes with these basic cap wigs, you can see visible permatease. On Tori, because of how they've got her curls lifted off, off the cap, you can't. It's really cute. 
It really disguises that permatease. And then of course with the way that the bangs lay, you don't need the lace front. And so I think it's so, so cute. It does have, she does have permatease, but not a ton. I would say um, it's, it's well done. And so for the length and for the curls, I think it's the perfect amount. It's not super poofy. There's that, just that basic cap, um, you know, no, no soft, uh, ear tabs. There's a lot of hair sewn into the ear tabs. There is a um, extended nape and we've got the Velcro adjusters here. I love also that the wig company puts the name of the wigs on the labels as well as the color. I just think that's so helpful. So um, yeah, you know there is permatease. It's not super poofy pillowy permatease. It's really appropriate. So let me show you some styling with Tori because that's why I purchased her. I knew that if um, Tori wasn't my style uh, that I would be able to show how to make her work. And not only that, but I do think when we're looking at budget wigs, when we're looking at um, limited budget to buy wigs, maybe you can purchase a, a really expensive wig but only one. You know, whatever your situation is, Knowing how to work with wigs, knowing how to make them your own is going to be huge for you. It's going to take some of that risk out of it for you. So let me just show you one of my favorite things to do with these short wigs is just a standard bandana. So I'm going to kind of look behind. Now obviously when I'm doing this on video, it's, it's not, you know, I'm not going to take the time I would normally take. So keep that in mind. But... I have Charlotte by Tress Allure, which I actually haven't reviewed. I've had Charlotte since over a year. And I almost returned Charlotte because she's quite similar actually to this one. And I didn't, um, it's too short for me. But because of her curls, I figured out that I could put a bandana in her, get the curls all situated, and she was adorable. I wore her in the summer and she was awesome. So just a quick, quick. I think maybe this needs to be folded a little smaller. You know, you'd play with this more. But it's one of my favorite styles. And then you can tuck, you can decide how much hair you want out, how much you want in. You can decide how much bang you want out. I mean, it's just so flexible. It's comfortable, it's cool. Um, if you wanted to wear it on the boat, let's say you have a boat and you're gonna go boating, this would be awesome. Working in the garden, taking the dog for a walk. It's truly such a versatile style that if you're you know, desperate for a wig, I wouldn't shy away from these short curly styles like this, especially if you can find one for a good price because look at what you can do. It's adorable. So that's really all I have for you guys. This um, is just a, a cute, great, basic style that's a really good price point. My experience with the Wig Company fibers is that they're awesome. Um, in, a, in a style this length, you're not gonna have to worry about friction on clothing, especially if you're gonna do accessories when a wig starts to show wear, you don't see it as much. So I just think this is gonna be a workhorse wig. So if you can do shorter styles, or even if maybe you can't, but you think you could pull off something with headbands, I would consider it, especially if you're looking for some good, just knock around summer wigs. Let me know if you guys have questions. I'll show you this color number 10 outside. And that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll talk to you soon. All right, here is number 10, color 10 outside. It's just a great medium brown. No visible highlighting. Let's go light background, dark background. It's very overcast today but quite bright. So pretty. If you like your, your just your standard medium brunette, this is perfect. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hey everyone, okay, here is the out of the box for Tori. Tori has some box hair, I'll tell you that right now. Let me make sure. I've got the adjusters. Okay, so 
Tori does have box hair. That's okay. We can work with box hair. Um, please, you know, if you've watched any of my videos, you know, I show these out of the boxes because I want you to understand, uh, a fail out of the box is not a fail for the wig totally. A lot of the time it works out. It's hard to know when it won't though. And so there is a bit of risk to looking at a wig and saying, I'm going to make it work. And then you can't, I have done that before. Um, but when you're looking for a budget friendly wig like Tori is, sometimes you just got to take that risk and do the best you can. So this is what Tori looked like out of the box. My intention with Tori, and you'll know this already, you've already watched it, so you're just kind of seeing what I was dealing with, is that I think she's going to be super adorable with headbands. And one of that's what the reason I really chose her. I probably shared the story already is because I knew that um, this with the waves and everything, I could make this really cute with accessories. And when you're looking for a budget friendly wig, you've got to have an open mind to what you can do with them because sometimes you don't have as many choices. So anyway, I think Tori's going to wind up looking super cute. I'm going to soak her because she's got just this, all this box hair going on. I think she could just use a soak instead of just spraying her. Uh, with water, which I, sometimes I do if I think the curls just need help, I think I want to get this whole area nice and saturated. So I'm going to soak her, I'm going to shake her, I'm going to scrunch her, and I'm going to hang her upside down to dry, and then the rest is history. Thanks for watching, you guys.